Today guys, I'm going to show you how I do my pin curl and hairstyle. So, first, got to get a beverage. I'm using my birthday goblet <laughs> that I got um, for my recent birthday on the 19th. Um, I'm drinking this Minute Maid Lemonade. Um, I'm pouring it in. I just finished pouring it in. Because um, whenever I do my hair, like sometimes like this, it, it takes a, it's a process. So, I need to be hydrated so that's what i got and i also also have um i was watching tyler's stream when i did this so first um i have my little small tooth comb i'm gonna just pick a section of hair and i'm going to roll it back i'm not really in frame for this one um you can kind of see at the end what i'm doing um after i roll it back um, I slowly pull it off my fingers, and then I take the bobby pin that I had placed between my teeth and kind of pin it down. Um, sometimes, depending on the section of hair, you may need to use two bobby pins, but um, I find that with my length of hair, um, one is usually enough. So as you can see, like I take the section, and I'm going to roll back around my fingers. Um, I usually try to really make sure the end is really smooth. And then I grab that side of the hair, slide it off my fingers, hold it while I put the bobby pin in. So, you see, um, they're not really uniform. I don't really, like, part it really well. I only part it at the beginning because that's where I wanted my part to be um, when I take the pins out. But, see, again, I'm just peeling a section and trying to get the remnants you ever have like just random like pieces of stuff being in your hair like sometimes like I think it's just from being outside like the wind blowing and just particles <laughs> getting in your hair like I probably it's probably a flake because it's probably time for me to wash my hair again but um yeah so right there my little external portable battery dropped um because I had my phone plugged up to that because I was watching um as I said, I was watching Tyler, it's just stream. So I have my little speaker and that plugged up. But right there, I take my flat iron. And then before I do that, I'm going to spray it with. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm going to spritz my hair a little bit with the Garnier Free Tees Flat Iron Protector. Um, I usually spray that on my hair um, anytime I'm going to straighten it or in this case, um, this section of hair, I'm going to curl it. Uh, so I'm just trying to back up so you guys can kind of see that my frame. Um, like I said, it probably would have been easier for me to use my regular size flat iron for this section. But I didn't feel like it. I just usually use my small one most times because it's a little bit easier. Um, it's easy for me to put like in my purse that I take sometimes, well, most of the time. Um, if I want to like fix my hair at work or something like that. So yeah, I'm just taking my time going over the section, not going too slow, but not um, going too fast so that I can really get a good curl on it. So I'm just like, you know, how you curl with the flower and you just keep twisting it and flipping it so that you kind of get every part of the hair. So like it's a longer, you know, my hair is longer now since the last time I really curled, curled it. So it takes a little bit longer with the small flat iron. So that's why I said I do recommend probably using a regular size one, but I didn't feel like doing that. So again, I'm wrapping it around my two fingers. I'm going backwards. I'm securing the end. I really need a trim. Um, that's why I do like doing curly because when my hair is curly, you can't really tell that I need a trim <laughs> as bad. So yeah, right now I'm just smoothing it down to put the bobby pin in and I'm going to do I think what for before um yeah I'm just going to do this section um it's a little sometimes the front is a little tricky because um it's a little bit harder to wrap 
my hair around my finger. Sometimes, like I said, you can do two fingers, one finger. I usually do two because it, you know, like I said, the length of my hair, too, is usually a good size. And, I mean, honestly, you could just use rollers if you don't want to do this. But I find that it's easier to sleep with the bobby pins because it's flatter. So, um, I'm all about having a comfortable sleep. So, bobby pins is the way. See, like, that's a nice little curl. Like, if I was on this in the morning, like, it would, you know, I could just go like that. I would just, like, kind of let my hair cool first before I go outside. So, because, you know, curls drop. And you see, I was trying to just wrap it, <laughs> like, do it easy way, but it wasn't working. So, I just went back to tried and true, wrapping the hair around my fingers, and then Bobby holding it down. And pinning it with a bobby pin. So tried and true. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue the rest of that side off camera. So now I'm back. I've done one side already. As you see they're not uniform. I mean now I've completed my whole head. Now I'm going in with this Miel. I think that's how you say it. Um, Rosemary Mint um, Hair Strengthening Oil. Um, it's enriched with biotin. Um, it's going to help my hair grow like I said usually around this time of year um I usually would cut my hair or I would have already cut it and it would be like in the process of growing back but um I decided to not cut it um I'm just gonna see what happens with the it growing so now I'm just putting that on my scalp um it's a little tingly because of the mint but um hopefully it helps me regrow my hair um I just kind of put it on my scalp a little bit um, I usually rotate between that and um, castor oil. So now I'm just showing this is after the oil I've put in. And I'm going to fix that one because I didn't like the way it looked. So I'm going to redo it. So as you see, I'm a perfectionist. I'm trying to get it perfect before I put my um, do-rag on. Um, you could just get like a regular, like a satin hair wrap or however you wrap your hair. Um, that's how you can put it on. But right there, I was like, you know, looking at my baby hairs, but they don't matter because I'm about to go to sleep. So I'm going to fix that in the morning um, after I, you know, do my makeup and everything. So I'm just trying to get it in the right position. I'm just showing you how I wrap the do-rag. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows what a do-rag looks like. So I'm tired and time for bed. So now, um, this is the next day, um, in the morning, afternoon, whatever, <laughs> I think it's the morning, yeah, the morning, um, this is after I've already, you know, brushed my teeth, washed my face, ate breakfast and everything, and did my makeup, um, so I'm just showing you a few of the products that, um, I usually try to have ready for when I take my curls down, um, to touch up oil and fix and everything so and I have this little plastic bag it's like a for the bobby pins um because usually sometimes I might keep the pins in when I go to work and just take them out when I get there but um yeah so I just have that because the pins didn't come in like a container they came on like a plastic thing so yeah slept kind of crazy hair looks kind of you know smushed around but we're going to fix that. This is, you know, a lot of this style because there's really no perfect way for your hair to look after this. Like, your hair, my hair never looks like the same every day when I do the pink curls anyway. Um, Because, like I said, sometimes they may fall. It all depends on usually how you sleep and all that. So, that's why I do the do-rag because I feel like if I didn't have the do-rag on, like, some of the pins would probably come out. I mean, I have a satin pillowcase, so... It wouldn't mess up my hair too much, but I like the do-rag because it keeps everything kind of against my head. And it's not, um, I don't have to worry about, like, pins coming out or anything like that. So I kind of set the video up a little bit. Um, that's why it seemed like I'm moving kind of fast. I'm still trying to get the hang of um, this whole speeding up thing because I think years ago when I was doing this, I didn't speed up the video at all. 
So, um, now I'm trying it out with the speeding up and slowing down. That's how I made the intro with the slowdown. So now all the pins are out. So now I'm going to just take um, some of that Garnier Fruities um, Argan Oil and put a little bit on my fingertips and my hands while I uh, pull apart the curls to get a good style. So, yeah, you're going to watch me do that. Um, as I said, <laughs> my hair is a little, it's getting longer, so it's a little, e it's a little harder for me to get, like, in my mind, how I want the curls to be, but, of course, you know, my hair was shorter when I really curled it, like, you know, with the flyer and everything. It was way shorter. Like, I went, like I said, I'm natural, but I'm uh, more of a straight natural. Like, I primarily wear my hair straight most of the time. Um, This past summer, like, the past year... I've been wearing it, I was wearing it natural, natural, like, I wasn't really straightening it at all, I was just doing natural styles, like, I wasn't straightening it, wasn't putting heat in it, like, I would usually wash my hair and pretty much stretch it and blow dry it straight, or just detangle it and let it air dry, and it'll just be that style, so, um, now I'm more into being a straight natural, um, like I said, I haven't put a perm or anything, the only chemical in a sense I will put in my hair is um hair dye like bleach when I bleach my hair and then I use a temporary hair color um that's the way I found to um have my hair in vibrant colors so now I'm just gonna touch up the front because uh I wasn't liking the way that the front was falling sorry if you hear like clenching my cat one of my cats is eating, so if you can hear that, I'm very sorry about that. Um, it's like as soon as I do a voiceover, they decide they want to munch on food. I don't understand, <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm going to split like the top part in half and just curl back, kind of like I did when I wrapped it around my fingers. It's just because it's just like, this is why I always say I always have the flat iron handy just in case I need to touch up, like in case I don't like the way it falls. So again, you know, I use my Garnier Fruities uh, flat iron protector on the section. And then I, I eventually, I did spray it around my whole head because I thought I was going to fix some other pieces. But once I fixed the front, um, I was fine with it. So I didn't go, I just kind of just finger combed different areas until it fell in a way that I liked. So now I'm taking the Style Factor um, Edge Booster Pomade. This is the grape one. Um, I'm going to take this and attempt to do my baby hairs. Um, I don't do them too exaggerated or anything like that. I just use a little bit, the little bit of hairline that I have um, in the front like the short hairs. So I usually apply the pomade with my finger and then use the brush um, to swoop them back. And I usually hold the swoop with the same finger. So like I said, they look kind of natural. I don't really do them, ex well, not kind of natural. They look natural. I don't do them exaggerated. I mean, I don't do them often anyway. So I don't like to do extra. And I was just showing you what it looks like. Um, it's, it's clear. It doesn't have a color. Um, that's one thing I do like about the Style Factor pomade and the gel. Like, I've used the gel, too. I use the same scent in the gel. Um, the grape. Um, all of them smell really good. So, I feel like any of them you use, you would be happy with. Um, they can be found at the local beauty supply store. I haven't seen them at, like, large retailers like Walmart and Target and all that. But um, they do sell them at beauty supply stores. So, that's where I got mine. I got the pomade first. Um, primarily to do edges um, because I wanted to get into it and it wasn't too expensive and then I got the thing of gel that matches it the same scent and I like the gel I usually do the gel like use a gel when I do my ponytails um, so yeah right now I'm just doing the curly um, curly and primarily straight sometimes so this is the finished look I love it so 
this is how I got, you know, my pink curls. This is how I maintain my curly styles. Um, a few products that I did mention that I use is um, peri well, periodically. Periodically that I use are, of course, um, my Garnier Fructis um, Moroccan Sleek um, Oil Treatment. Um, I love argan oil for my hair. It's really helped keep it healthy. Um, I used to use it all the time, even when I used to color my hair a lot. Um, right now, I'm kind of taking a break, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to color it again. But this is, I love this. Um, argan oil. Um, periodically, I also use castor oil in my hair. Um, mainly on my ends like if my ends need a little bit of extra help sometimes or my scalp um really love it for my hair um i also i didn't mention this um in the video but i've been using this um neo i think i did use i did mention it when i first put in the pin curls i think if not it'll still be listed down below but i use this rosemary mint um scalp and hair strengthening oil um this is it's infused with biotin, so it helps your hair grow. Um, you can use it as a scalp treatment. You can use it daily. You just put a little bit on your scalp and go through your ends. You can use it as a treatment, a daily type of thing you put on your scalp, or um, you can just use it for your ends, like if you want to stop split in. So I use that um, a lot of times. Um, whenever, like I said, um, when I take my pen curls down, if I have to touch them up with a flat iron, I will spray this, the Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Protector. This is um, 450 heat protection, 48 hour straight finish. I usually, use, if I straighten my hair, I also use this, but I just use this whenever I have to apply heat to my hair, um, especially with the flat iron. And this is also infused with argan oil from Morocco. So as you can see, I kind of use argan oil um, a lot. And then, um, I also finish my hair off with this um, Kakui oil by OGX. Um, it's the anti frizz hydrating oil. It smells amazing. I need to get another bottle. I'm almost out. But um, this is for hydrating my hair and also um, protecting against frizz. So you can kind of see how these two work together. Um, so it can be sleek and then anti frizz. So. Those are the things that I use on my hair. Um, the flat iron that I use, um, I switch. I use a Babyliss Pro brand, but I have the regular one that I use sometimes, but I also use the mini one. Um, just because sometimes it's a little easier to use this one because it's like a little small area that I need to touch up. I use this. Um, so that's what I use. And then when I do my baby hairs, I don't always do them. Um, you saw me do them in the video, but I don't do them all the time. I use the Style Factor Edge Booster, um, the pomade, this because that's why it's so small. This is the grape scent, and then I use this little edge brush, I guess you can call it. It has a comb at the other, and I don't really use that too much, I guess maybe when I want to pull more hair. But yeah, I usually apply the pomade with my finger, and then smooth it and then I brush it with this just because I feel like when I use dip the brush into the pomade it, does, it either takes too much or it doesn't do it correctly so they came out okay <laughs> and yeah these are the products that I use in my hair again everything will be listed down below um, of what I used and yeah so um, this is how again this is I said how I um, prolong my curly styles like I said usually when I wash my hair I will straighten my hair like maybe once a week um maybe once every other week because I don't wash my hair that often so like when I wash my hair I'll usually stretch it um after, before blow drying if I don't just go ahead and blow dry it and then I will flat uh straighten my hair with a flat iron and then I usually wrap it maybe one or two nights and then after that is pin curls all the way so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just looking at how it looks. Um, but yeah, after that, it's like pin curls all the way. And this is how I do it. I pin curl my hair. Um, it took me a while to get it um, how I want it. Um, again, it always changes. Every night I wrap my hair, I even use less bobby pins or more bobby pins. It's never the same. The style is never the same the next day. So that's why I like to touch up um, with the flat iron sometimes. 
um, in case it doesn't lay how I want it to lay or like if I sleep kind of crazy but yeah um, all in all sorry just the OCD in me like if it curls out of place I just have to fix it but yeah so overall pretty easy to do um, you can get this like I said it's like a heatless curls because it's from my hair being straightened I just part and curl it up and you know you use the heat to touch it up if a curl doesn't lay how you want it to lay so overall um i hope you guys enjoyed the video um my handles will be down below remember to rate share and i mean pull up remember to like share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this um i'll talk to you guys soon this is